and welcome to vlogmas day five it is finally a proper vlog filming on the day that it's vlogmas day five and i'm gonna open my advent calendar because i haven't done that yet i haven't really shown you my room yet if you watched my vlogmas last year you would have seen like how my room was decorated i used to have like a little plastic tree here and more like stuff on the walls but this year i figured i'll do a little bit more simple and a little bit more classy so this is what i've got so i've strung some fairy lights up here and then just attached some baubles i've literally just tied them to the uh to the fairy lights and i thought this was a really nice effect and it also looks really nice in my videos and then i have this like scandinavian design paper hearts which i absolutely love they're my fave and then excuse the mess but here's my pajama top i have this and these i believe those are from h&m last year and that just says happy holidays i think they have one this year that says merry christmas it looks exactly the same and then on this wall here i have some used matches I have, this is a potpourri that I bought in TK Maxx, it's like Christmas scented. And then my lint advent calendar, this is the best purchase I've done all year. A winter candle, or the winter candle from the White Company. A countdown to Christmas, and because I celebrate on Christmas Eve, it is officially 19 days until Christmas. And then I have a little Christmas flower thing there. And that is essentially my Christmas decoration this year. And I really like it because when the lights are off, these are, lights are a little bit green, which I don't really like, but I've kind of got used to it. So yeah, these are my Christmas decorations and I'm really happy with it because it's very simplistic and I love it. I would have liked like a big throw and I might go get a throw today because my house is so cold. I think the windows are a little bit drafty and I was gonna get like one of those cling film like double glazing thing but I can't find any in stores. They're all on Amazon and it's like an eight pound delivery charge and I don't want to do that. And um, also it looks like I've got lipstick on. I've just got really like chapped lips. So they look very red today. Um, but yeah, I haven't even told you what I'm gonna do. It's nine o'clock on December 5th. I'm gonna open this and then I'm gonna brush my teeth and put some jeans on because I'm wearing my pajama bottoms. And then I'm gonna go to Westfield, the Stratford City one, do some Christmas shopping. I have done some Christmas shopping, which can be found up here, but luckily you cannot tell what it is. Then I'm gonna go all the way on the central line to Selfridges, the big Selfridges, because that's the one I wanna go to. And then at four o'clock, I have a driving lesson, so I need to be back in my house by three. So that essentially gives me five hours from the time I get to Stratford to do shopping there, and then go Selfridges, do shopping there, and then come back home. After my driving lesson, I'm gonna go to the cinema and watch Knives Out. I also kind of want to tidy up my room because it's just a little bit cluttered and then that is essentially the plan for today. Literally just got to Stratford and every shop has just opened which is really nice. It's so quiet. Just having a little look at books because I kind of want to start reading again. I don't know what book to buy. So I came all the way to Stratford for one shop and they did not have what I wanted. So I'm just gonna go have a little look around and then head up, heading to Selfridges. So I managed to find what I needed in another shop and it was also on discount. So that's really, really good. I was just gonna order it on Amazon, but I found it. And now I'm just in a actually sweeter shop called Lindex, which is a clothes shop. And I bought this skirt that Rachel wore. You know, the check skirt, which has like that white polo neck. So I'm gonna try and find a white polo neck and that will be my outfit for Christmas. I'm done with shopping in Stratford now. I've got a little festive vape from Greg's. And I'm just gonna hop on the central line that's coming now and go to Marble Watch, I think, and then walk towards Bond Street, Half Five, Primark, and Selfridges, and do other shops on the way there. Yeah, that's my true. Primark is the one today. I found a long sleeve for the Rachel outfit, so I'm just going to try them on. They're five pounds, and this looks exactly like the one that Rachel wears, which is amazing. And then I'm going to try on some mom jeans, but these look humongous, even though they're a size 14. 
like, but they're probably just gonna fit me in the middle of the crumb. And then this like denim esque dress, which I believe was seven pounds in this day. So I'm gonna try this on, and I go size up usually just to try and get them a little bit longer. Um, so I'm gonna try these on now, see what they look like. And it is currently 12 o'clock, so I have another two hours before I actually have to go home. And go home. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I didn't have skinny jeans on, but these feel really nice. And they're only 13 pounds, but I would have rather had them in like a washed out grey rather than 90s blue. But like, I'm loving this. I can't decide if I want them though. So this is the long sleeve that I'm going to wear for Christmas with my jacket skirt, which I'm going to show you when I come home. And then this is the size 14. It's just a, just a little bit too short, which is my struggle with dresses, is that they're all too freaking short. But I really like this look. And like, I feel like if I go for the 16, it's gonna be way too big because this is already a little bit, just a lot of space. I'm gonna try it on, see if it's a little bit longer, which I doubt. I mean, I don't think that the size 16 made any difference except being a little bit wider. It's not much longer. So I think I'm just gonna get this, which is really soft, but it does choke me a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but it's five pounds, so it'll be good. I'm gonna try out the outfit tonight, and if I don't like it, I'll return all of it. It takes me forever to find the right wrapping paper. But my cleaning and stuff is very expensive. I also wish we were doing stockings. But these are 36 pounds for a stocking. That is like my entire budget for Christmas, 36 pounds. And that one stocking is 36 pounds. I am now back home. I did go from Marble Arch all the way to Oxford Circus. And I popped into a few shops, I believe I showed you, but I only actually bought something in Primark. And as I mentioned earlier, like my room is so cold because there's a draft through the window. And I tried finding those like plastic, like essentially cling film that you can just wrap your window in so there's no draft. But I can only find them online and then like they end up costing like 10 pounds. So unless this works, I'm going to buy that. I decided to buy a throw because... I have like a little throw here, the grey one, which I bought from Ikea, but it's not very warm and it's also very small. Whereas this is 160 times 220, so this would essentially cover my entire bed. And I got this because I'm only going to be wearing, like using it during Christmas time or winter time. And this is super Christmassy. And I really wanted something more red in my room. I did see like a really nice green one, but because the lights, my fairy lights, as I said earlier this morning, they give off like a green light. I wanted something red just to like contrast that. So I got this one, it was 18 pounds. Oh my God, it is humongous. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, oh look at that, it is huge. And it is so Christmassy and it's gonna be so nice and warm because it's got that like fluffy material. I'm so happy with this purchase, oh my God. So this is the outfit, and the best thing is that this skirt has pockets. And I really, really like it. I think that's a cute outfit. Probably not wear those socks though, but yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with this outfit. So they have like seals that you use, but I need the, I need the plastic film. Damn it. I guess I'll see if my blanket works and if I'm still cold, I'll just have to order it off Amazon. Um, but now I'm gonna go to the cinema. It is currently five past five. My cinema starts in about 
45 minutes to an hour-ish time. So I'm going to go watch Knives Out now, which I'm very excited for. Anyone else proper struggle to buy wrapping paper? I kind of touched upon this in self earlier. But I have the biggest, like, decision anxiety deciding what wrapping paper I want. It's like, this is just in WH Smith. There's so much to choose from. I think I found the one that I want in the Sainsbury's. It was either in Sainsbury's or Vincho's. Um, and it was really, really nice. I'm probably going to pick up that. But it's like, I literally have to check out every single shop before I actually buy any wrapping paper. Because I can never make my mind up. So I'm just out of the cinema. It was actually really, really good. Like halfway through it, I was like, this is a little bit boring, but it did pick up uh, after halfway through. So it was really, 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 really good. It's very loud, this road. And now I'm just waiting for my bus home. I'm gonna get under my warm blanket and edit this vlog. And also, uh, I bought a chapstick today. I've already lost it from like leaving the bus and getting into the cinema. My lip is completely cracked. But yeah, I think this is gonna be the rest of Vlogmas day five. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again tomorrow with a new video. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye. <laughs>